Back at Hawk's mansion. Oh, look at this. Your hound is a mark of nobility in Ferelden, is he not? I have heard that gaining a Mabari's loyalty is considered the ultimate proof of character there. That's kind of you to say. I think we make a good pair. A dog cares nothing for worldly power. The Maker would like to see us learn from them. Don't let it go to your head. That was, uh, beside the point. We need to get to the letter, though. Okay, we need to go see the Viscount. This whole Kunari situation seems to be getting out of control. So, let's, uh, let's bring some people. Hmm. Give me a sec. I gotta think about who I wanna bring. I guess that'll. I you know what. Uh. Hold on. Yeah, I'll go with this group. Have I ever been down here? I don't think I haven't been down here before. Don't touch anything. I've arranged all of the papers alphabetically. Nothing really out here. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk, convince Seamus to come home. The Arashok says nothing good about Kirkwall. Yet he accepts conversions? I cannot understand him. Maker knows I've tried, but he landed with, what, a few hundred men? Add up the deaths and defections, and the Arishok must need to bolster his ranks. I'm sure my son is quite the symbolic prize. Did anyone else see him leaving for the compound? He made no secret of it. I'm sure he intended it as another of his statements about closer relations. Your example inspired him. I might agree, but now is not the time. These matters are... delicate. He's politically dangerous, you mean? The office must remain strong, Sir Hawk. He is of age. The decision seems rightly his. I want to let him find his way. But in my position, he's taken a great deal of inspiration from you. I want to allow his idealism, but not blindly. At best, my opponents will claim that my office is now in Kunari hands. At worst, I lose my son. Dragging your boy out of the compound won't help matters. I cannot leave him there. I hope you can convince the Arishot that this will only inflame the situation. He hasn't been quick to see reason to this point. It is a hope. I'm still allowed that, at least. Oh, things are going to get ugly here. Well, the Viscount can't be seen as having some... With, with the threat that the Kunari obviously pose to the world, to Kirkwall. The Viscount can't be seen as having some sort of weakness in opposition to what the Canari represent. His son going and trading sides is 
where the fuck am I? This is not where I wanted to go. Where the hell am I? <laughs> I think maybe I clicked the wrong button, or, uh, or maybe I went and, uh, got intercepted on the way or something like that. There are more of them, huh? Alright, got a new helmet. <laughs> so who hired that lot? Anti Canari? Anti Viscount? Or Seamus himself not wanting to be rescued? Seamus isn't the type. Let's go. It's Canari compound, I can go that way. Or this way, what's the difference? Just teleported me right there. Can I walk away? I guess I can. Just go about my day, I guess. <laughs> but let's do this canary thing. Go without me. I have to see a man about a dog. Well, hope the Arashok hasn't grown attached to the Viscount's boy. Since she won't come with us, we'll stick another uh, stick another character in there. I'll need both Anders and, uh, and Meryl here, so. All are forbidden. Sarah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Ba still beg me to let them come to the Cune. They hunger for purpose. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. No doubt you see the advantage of having the Viscount's son at arm's reach. He is no longer the Viscount's son. Vidithari give up their lives for the certainty only Kunari know. You would not take advantage of his connections? The Kune may demand that advantage, but I do not. It was his choice to be educated. He is not my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. That probably could have been mentioned earlier. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. The Viscount has not tried to involve the Chantry before. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. I've had about enough of Patrice. Several times over. A threat against Vidithari can have only one answer. I will suffer only one outcome. I will be watching, Hawk. The demand of the Kune is clear. Uh, okay, so... Things weren't quite what we were led to believe that they were. The Viscount's son didn't just go to the Kuhn. He went and um, 
he had returned back to his father and then the father had brought him to the Chantry under probably Patrice's um what do you call it uh under Patrice's uh, urgings to try and keep him from doing it she has been uh, a reoccurring problem Hawk, look at what you have done. To pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. You've been a headache, but to outright kill someone? That's new for you. He deliberately denied the Maker. How many would follow if he went unpunished? And yet, even this sympathizer will inspire vengeance when his brutal murder is exposed. Great plan. Until people start dying in a war with the Kunari. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. Earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die! Oh boy. We're gonna fight some Templars and crap and some mercenaries. Eh, Patrice is kind of a lunatic. That's so much chaos, I can't get to control anything. <laughs> now the Templar's got a bit of a hit to him. a lot of curing going on. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted, all too well. The young mother arranged all of it. Don't you spout your Kunari filth! This is a hand of the divine! I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Sarah Hawk, is it? Viscount Dumas' son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Canari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. You killed him so no one would follow his free choice. Right or wrong. It could not be allowed. How many would be tempted? As many as would want to go, I suppose. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sarah Hawk, you act on behalf of the Viscount? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric?
We protect those of the Kune. We do not abandon our own. Please, send for Viscount Dumas. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city? when we fail our own so completely. This is not over, Excellency. The city needs a leader. It does. And I am no longer that person. Please. Hawk. Leave me. Well, Giant blood in the chantry, the Viscount's son dead. This won't just go away. I don't think anyone came out unscathed. What now? The Arishok's the ones worried about. So we clean up and wait for trouble to find us. So, situation has gotten pretty friggin' bad. The Viscount seems to have been have given up on his fight to control the city, to keep it from falling apart. The Canari at least were, well, serious about their commitment to defend its own people. Even though the sci-fi count's son was just a convert, as soon as he was dead, they sent someone to kill his murderer. I guess uh, the Airshock wasn't all of that interested in the kind of justice that the Chantry would have for Patrice. So, she's finally dead. Won't be causing us any more trouble, but the damage that she has caused so far may, oh, may already have been done. It may uh, be too late for that. So, maybe eh, something bad's gonna happen. <laughs>